Hello everyone, and welcome to my favorite Nintendo console. This is a reply to Alpha Omega Sin, and I wanted to show you a very special item. The Virtual Boy. No, I'm just kidding, what the hell. But hey, you know, if you can get a copy of Jack Brothers for your Virtual Boy, that uh, will make it a lot more interesting. But, uh, no, that ain't what I'm talking about. But I am indeed going to do something a little different. Um... You know, when you talk about systems, I like, ooh, pardon me, I like talking about both handhelds and the main console unit, so, um, I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to pick a console and a handheld from Nintendo. Now, of course, who's going to be utterly surprised that I, as the console, I'm going to pick probably what most people will pick, a Super Nintendo. Of course, not to say that all the other consoles suck, but, you know, I'm a big RPG person. I like RPGs. And, well, everyone should know the N64 games did not have a large variety. Also, the GameCube, though not as lacked in RPGs as the N64s, also lacked a number of them, and in time, someone ones could also be gone on other systems, unless, uh, like, for, like, Telesophonia was on the PS2 if you're in Japan. But, of course, you know, this kind of question is, has a lot of bias with, uh, you know, what you particularly like. So, obviously, somebody's reply to such a question would be biased to what they really liked as a kid or that, probably. And, what can I say, the Super Nintendo had a lot of great RPGs, and I still just keep always getting more Super Nintendo games to always replace the ones I beat and finish. It's a never-ending cycle with that damn thing. I mean, with so many excellent games, and then there's not always necessarily RPGs. I mean, you got Super Castlevania, you have a number of fun Corby games, of course, the best one being, well, well, obviously, uh, obligated to, uh, opinion... But, uh, Super, Corby Superstars is obviously a lovely choice. And you had, uh, so many good stuff on there. I mean, it was stuff that wasn't even that mainstream. Like, you have the Goggles Quest game, the Demon's Quest on, on, uh, the Super Nintendo, obviously. It's, oh, and of course, it's home of the Lufia series. Uh, Lufia one. I wish the bad way in your cartridge would walk. Lufia 2 being one of my favorite RPGs ever. Uh, Capcom, Squaresoft, Enix. There were so many delightful games for the freaking Super Nintendo. <laughs> so many excellent games. So quite a number of bizarre ones. I mean, you had the uh, the uh, Evolution one. Um, let's see, where are you? I have the Super the Japanese version of it. Uh, Let's see, what was it called in America, though? I can't remember. It's, uh... Wu did a review of the game. I, I can't remember what it was called in America. But, I mean, that's the Japanese cartridge, if you ever win. we interested in that. <laughs> Much cheaper than the American portion. Oh, boy. There were a lot of fun, bizarre games on the Super Nintendo, and... Some of the greatest RPGs, certainly, were from there. Of course, one of my favorites, Final Fantasy IV, Super Mario RPG. You had the Breath of Fire 1 and 2 on there. Final Fantasy 6 and 5. And it's just home of so many awesome things. <laughs> so many good games got their start on the Super Nintendo and ran with it. Now, for the handheld, you know, we got the Game Boy, the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Vance, the... Virtual Boy. <laughs> uh, actually, what would you consider the Virtual Boy? Handheld or console? They advertised it as a handheld, but many people would disagree that it would be played as such, so that's actually a debatable question right there. Interesting. Anyway, uh, I would have to pick the original Game Boy. This is my original Game Boy that I got for my 8th birthday. <sighs> My, you've torn yellow, and the Pokemon sticker in the middle has grown quite faded. I don't even know if you walk anymore. 
<laughs> but I've kept you. And your battery case is still good with the little pingy thing kind of broken. You've lived through a lot of games like Final Fantasy Legends 1. Oh, you've lived through a lot of games. 1989 Nintendo. Original Game Boy is definitely a landmark in video game history, really. I mean, handhelds were considered a joke in games because they couldn't achieve the graphical power that consoles would ever get for a long time. And back then, when you had everyone trying to do the handheld market, you had the Game Gear and that, everyone just kept going with power instead of games. I don't understand why the industry can never realize that power doesn't make shit. If you don't have a good game, your console is going to fail like a piece of freaking overpriced crap. And I'll never understand. It's like, we gotta make it a giant powerhouse and shit, and I always feel like that's ruining the industry more and more every generation. <sighs> Keep it simple, and make it work, and cost efficient. The simple Game Boy showed the industry that graphics were sorely not needed to have a really freaking kick-ass time. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, would look forward to seeing people's opinions uh, on the question, though. I mean, uh, Afro Blue actually made a reply to Alpha Omega Sin um, about stating how the N64 was his favorite. And again, I, I would this this just be opinion. Don't don't freak out. <laughs> I like Alpha Blue. Don't don't freak out. Then. But I'm sorry, would say it's probably the exact same reason I would pick the Super Nintendo. Childhood bias, you know. <laughs> it's like your first console, your something you played obsessively as a kid or that. I mean, but that but you know that that's just the opinion, yeah. No, no hate here. That this is all good. Alpha Blue always does awesome shit. But you know, I, I'd like to see people pick a different console. Actually, I, I would like to hear them instead of Super Nintendo. Because to be honest, I can't see a lot of people. The majority, I would think, pick Super Nintendo. There are just so many people who lived during that generation when it comes to old games. And then you got new gamers don't usually consider Nintendo much of a console. Which is a shame. I liked it in 64. But definitely wasn't my you heaven. Uh, you. Uh, yeah. Ugh. Trying to make a terrible joke there. I just fumbled on it. But, um. <laughs> then 64 definitely wasn't my cup of tea to uh, for RPGs, obviously, because, well. The only two things I could think of off the top of my head is Quest 64 and Ogle Battle 64. Um, I think there's maybe one more thing that had, uh, let's see, where is it? There's one more game, I believe. Yeah, I believe, uh, Hybrid Heaven was kind of an RPG, I think. It was kind of some, I played it a long time ago and I saw it, uh, really cheap. I was like, if I never correctly, it's some kind of weird, yeah. actually, if I think about why, right, I think it kind of plays like Parasite Eve 1, actually. Yeah, don't take my word on that. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm on fiddle, fiddly, faded memories there. <laughs> but, um, I hope you joined my little ramblings in the video and that. And, uh, I hope to actually hear, uh, other people's replies to Alpha Omega Sin. That hopefully aren't all Super Nintendo, because to be honest, I would like to hear some people, especially the N64, because it's always a console, in my opinion, that always gets overlooked. I don't hate the thing. I, I, I mean, I loved it for other games, like obviously Su Super Smash Brothers, Kirby's, uh, what was it, uh, oh, uh, what was it, Crystal Star? I, I, wait. Oh, but Castlevania. Poor Castlevania. And of course, yeah, well, who the hell would ever freaking consider N64 uh, without mentioning Whale, which was probably one of the greatest non-Nintendo companies to be making games for the damn thing. <laughs> but anyway, I ramble on, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Hopefully.